Welcome back. Now that we've covered the basics of the pencil tool, let's jump right in to creating a sail for the foremast of our ship. I've deleted the sample paths we created in the last video and have zoomed in since I'll be drawing my sail directly on the ship. Like I showed earlier, I've hidden the guides for the parts of the ship that we'll be adding back in. But if you want to use the guides to trace over, you can toggle them on and off by holding down Command or Control on your keyboard and then hitting the semicolon key. We'll start by selecting the pencil tool and drawing the first segment of the sail. To continue a path you've already made, simply hover over an endpoint. Notice the new path continuation cursor, which has a little slash mark near the pencil tool icon. Draw in the second segment, continuing with the sail shape we're creating. You can see that the new segment I just drew didn't affect the first segment I made. Let's go ahead and finish up the other side of the sail. As I hover my cursor near an open endpoint, you'll see a little circle near my cursor. I can release my mouse and Illustrator will automatically close the shape and intelligently determine whether the segment should be curved or straight. You can adjust the pixel distance at which this automatic closure occurs using the slider at the bottom of the Pencil Tool Options panel. Now that my first sail is complete, let's grab the eyedropper tool or hit I on your keyboard and sample one of the other sails so that the fill colors match. Next, we're going to add in the hull of the boat using a combination of straight and curved segments. We want the hull to be parallel with the bottom of the deck, so we're going to need to create a straight line. Position your cursor over where you want the hull to begin and hold down the shift key. Notice that my cursor now has a horizontal line near the pencil tool icon. You can see that holding down shift as I draw constrains the path to a perfectly horizontal line. Holding down the shift key will also constrain your path to 45 degrees, 90 degrees, etc. To make an unconstrained straight segment, hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard as you draw. Let's do this for the back edge of the hole. Complete the hole by going from point to point with a few more curved segments. If I was drawing a completely curved object, I could just do that with a continuous stroke. The hole here just happens to have four corners. We've completed drawing the hole, so let's grab the eyedropper tool again and give it a fill color. Let's quickly take a look at how we can use the improved Path Segment Reshape feature to make adjustments to our illustration before we move it into the final composition. Click and hold the Pen Tool icon in the toolbar and select the Anchor Point tool from the Flyout menu, or hit Shift-C on your keyboard. This tool is previously called the Convert Anchor Point tool and can still be used to convert corner points to curved points and vice versa, but can now also be used to reshape path segments. I want to change the cabin of my ship so that the top is curved instead of straight. I can do so by hovering over the straight segment until I see the path segment reshape icon near my cursor. Click on the segment and pull it upwards to turn it into a clean curve. If you want to constrain the curve, hold down shift on your keyboard as you draw out the segment. You can also use the path segment reshape to adjust existing curves. Simply hover over a curved path like the bow line on the ship and adjust according to your liking. Path segment reshape can also be accessed while using the pen tool by simply pressing the Alt or Option key. You can also reshape curved segments with the direct selection tool. I'm happy with how my ship looks, so I'm going to use the selection tool or hit V on my keyboard to select the entire ship and drag it into my final composition. And there you have it, a simple yet beautiful illustration created entirely using the pencil tool. If you want to continue practicing with the pencil tool, select everything on the artboard and go to View, Guides, Make Guides so that you can trace over the completed illustration. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you find the pencil tool and path segment reshape feature as fun and easy to use as I do.